Good day, everyone. Once again, we are on our STS, still in the sciences class, or science, technology, and society. I am your professor, Jocelyn Aguila Aguinao, now signing on. <music> chapter we are going to discuss uh, in this chapter we are in chapter 3 of science technology and society we are going to discuss the world history so we i divided it into two parts or this is just a part one part one of chapter three okay the scientific revolution on on this first part I am going to discuss, we are going to discuss the introduction and the, on the second part, uh, we are going to discuss the progress of science and technology in historical context. The first uh, part of the first agricultural revolution and metallurgy and metallic tools. So, uh, and of course, on the part three will be the a quiz for this chapter. But along the way, you will, be, you will encounter a plus points for, for you. So, uh, just comment down below. Okay. For the first, um, siyempre, incentive points for my students. So, what is science? Science, what, how, what, where, when, how, and why there is a science. Okay. So, you can comment it down below. Okay. For the introduction, okay, the cultural uh, universal, universal that are being shared by different society and cultures around the world, inclu word includes but are not limited to, these are not limited to, the language, the mental cognitive faculty, the social interaction, knowledge, technology, values, custom, and tradition, spatial and temporal the dimension of society. So uh, we will be the we will be dealing with the with these areas of science. Once you said la, uh, physical science. We will be dealing, of course, with physics, chemistry, quantum mechanics, uh, classical mechanics, uh, relativity, thermodynamics, and other physical science. While in formal, uh, formal system, we will be uh, discussing or this the science involve the mathematics, logic, statistics, information, and computer computational science while well, in applied science it deals with the technology engineering healthcare environmental science information and uh, computer science of course while well, in social science it will be dealing with the sociology economics uh, psychology political science linguistic history geography anthropology archaeology and education while in life science, it deals with uh, life, uh, biology, microbiology, ecology, anatomy, physiology, genetics, cell and molecular biology, zoology, botany, mycology, and other related science or related in life science. And um, in scientific revolution, as I've mentioned earlier that we are going to discuss today, Okay, the scientific revolution can be considered as, as the most important shift in history. Uh, what makes it remarkable? Because science was a natural philosophy. So there are a lot of scientists. So what makes the scientific uh, revolution remarkable? So prior to the 
scientific revolution, people's knowledge was based on sculpture and superstitious belief. The body of knowledge, the body of knowledge was said to be controlled by the church and by the people authority, perhaps a king, diba? because uh, the country, most countries are ruled by the king. For example, it it was believed that the earth was the center of the universe as suggested by the Greco-Egyptian mathematician and astronomer Claudius, Claudius Theb, uh, Ptolemy. In the geometric model of the universe, the ancient people were bound to the conventional way of thinking as reverse for ancient authorities. This had influenced their way of lives for a century until the discovery of achievement of, science, of the scientific revolution. It began in the mid-16th century and continued into the 18th century. Even, even though it took a relatively long time to unfold, it was a revolutionary in the sense that it transformed human thought just as political revolution have um, fundamentally changed the systems of government. There are several scientists who have changed the course of history pertaining to the way of thinking. It is uh, started in the advent of new concept of the universe. The most significant change in astronomy was the acceptance of the view of the, uh, that the sun, not the earth, was the center of the universe, which was called the heliocentric model. In the, in the past, the earth was thought to be a stationary where the moon and the sun and the other planets revolve in a circular orbit. Yun yung paniniwala dati. It was also believed that there were four elements on earth. The earth, water, air, and fire. Yung earth and water were heavy, heavy element that were pulled down towards the center of the earth. While the air and fire on the other hand, were lighter, raising above the planet. All heavenly bodies are that revolves around the earth from east to west within 24 hours had the fifth element called ether. Ether was, the, was thought to be eternal, in, incorruptible, and could not be destroyed. This traditional concept of cosmos was questioned by a Polish, Polish uh, cleric, Nicholas Copernicus. Okay. The um, the book on his book on ano, uh, revolution uh, revolution of the heavenly spheres were published fifteen forty three. Shortly after his death, proposed that the sun and not the earth was the center of the universe. His proposal was not well accepted by the people during the time. Only the most learned astronomer could understand Copernicus' mathematical argument, and even they, and even they were not prepared to adopt this uh, central thesis. Uh, significantly support for the Copernican model of the universe among scientists began to materialize only in the 17th century when the German astronomer Johann Kepler, Johann Kepler, sorry, Kepler demonstrated the elliptical motion of planet around the sun. Like Copernicus' book, Kepler book was not fully uh, appreciated by many decades until Galileo Galilei had the, or, the, uh, the, or Galileo Galilei support the superiority of Copernican model thought of evidence he obtained from the telescope. 
So Galilee published his book eh, in ano, 1632 with a great skill of presenting views in the form of a dialogue. He was able to convince many people to believe that the sun is the sun-centered theory of the universe except for the church. Galileo Galilee was charged with uh, uh, knock, knocking of authority or the sculpture and the denial of the theological thought of the Roman Catholic Church. His book was then uh, prohibited, but the truth had already begun to ignite among the belief of the Copernican model in the universe. In physics naman, the greatest achievement of scientific revolution belonged to the English scientist Isaac, Isaac Newton. Oh, wait. Sorry. Isaac Newton. So, Newton was formulated a set of mathematical law and explained how the entire physics world operates. Now, um, after that, the it can you give uh, for additional point? Can you give at least two contribution of Charles Darwin and Sigmund Freud in in ano, in science? Okay. So Charles Darwin works and contribution to science have. Uh, revolutionized and studied the biology, genetics, molecular biology, and systematic taxonomy. On his uh, book, in book niya, he postulated that all living organisms on earth have evolved over time from a common ancestor. And the process of evolution has compelled organisms to adapt the to adapt and undergo changes that increase the change in to survive and to reproduce from generation to generation. So, some of these contribution are are the concept of survival of the survival of the fittest, the fitness or ability of organism to successfully reproduce, and taxonomic and geo, geological serve survey of life of living of living species and uh, fossilized extinct organism while sigmund freud contributes to science has rev, uh, revolutionized the study of human physics or mental and behavior his psychological theory particularly his therapeutic method under psychoanalysis have given scientists today some important scientific insight into human consciousness and subconsciousness, which has effect on the human social behavior. And some of his contribution is the interpretation of dreams uh, during the 1900, the mental concept of consciousness, pre-consciousness, and unconscious and the uh, characterization of the structure and of human physics as super ego ego and in IQ. okay next for additional points once again so some of the condition during the manufacturing base of society include included or give at least two industrial revolution okay so these are some of the condition during the manufacturing base society included the mass the mass manufacturing of textile chemical production and steel iron next is the use of heat engine such as revolutionary steam engine and then the race of the factory system, which employed machineries and division of labor, capitalism, globalization, and colonialism to find another resources, 
Next is the improvement of labor condition and standard living, especially for children and women. The start of ecology, environmental concern of human and laws passed to address issues of child labor and human rights and society and security to work, sorry. So, <clears throat> Next is the Darwin Information Information Revolution. He is Henrik uh, Rudolf Hertz. So, who is he? Who is he? A German physicist. He is a German physicist. So, uh, add your comment down below so uh, I can give you points. So, Henrik Rudolf Hertz is from 1857 to 1894. He is the first to demonstrate the existence of electromagnetic wave. So, he's a German physicist and introduced such wave. So, uh, that's all for our first part of uh, the first part of our lecture for chapter 3 i'm going to discuss to you in chapter 2 the uh, the next the next um what they call this the continuation for this chapter 3 if you are new to my channel please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you will be notified every time my mag upload ako ng video for your lessons and then you can comment and add points to your class standing. Okay, that's all for today, folks. Goodbye and God bless.